it's all right. We'll get better. <laughs> How'd they respond though, to the first couple losses of the year? Uh, well, actually, I thought we responded okay. You know, the second game, we got off to a good start, and then uh, we just couldn't sustain it. I just thought USC ended up being the tougher team and seemed like they played with a lot more urgency in that second half than we did, and, and then that was the story, I think, to the game. Third quarter, both games really hurt. What, what has to change there? <sighs> Um, again, I think, you know, you got to step it up. I, I actually was proud of both the efforts in the first half. I think we gave up uh, something like maybe 28 points per half per team in, in the first half and then uh, like 48, 49 in the second half. So, you know, we got to – so I think we had a good game plan. For the most part, we executed the game plan and, and then something unravels in the second half. I think part of it is the defense isn't in front of us. We're not talking them through every screen. And so we, we got to get, I think, better leadership. We got to get more urgency defensively uh, in the second half. Where does that leadership come from? Well, you'd like to think that's coming from six seniors, you know, uh, Jill and, and Lexi and um, Liz Brenner, Cat Cooper. I mean, kids that, that play a lot for us. Um, but it's got to come from everybody, and including the coaches. You know, we, we've got to do a better job, I think, in the, in the second half. But I thought in, in both games it really kind of came down to some toughness issues and effort. Do you view Oregon State as the team to beat this year, even though there's a lot of good teams, obviously? Man, I don't know who the team to beat is. Uh, the only team to beat for us right now is Oregon State. But I, I tell you, after the first weekend, you know, a lot of crazy things kind of happened. So I, I think there's a, a lot of really good teams. I think there's a lot of parity, a lot of good teams. Yeah. And so I think on any given night, anybody could win. Most college sports are kind of slaves to TV now. But would you rather see this rivalry spread out a little bit and maybe play them once at the end of the year? Or, or do you like it back to back? No, I don't like it back to back. I don't think any coach does, but there's not a whole lot we can do with it. I think what we've been given is uh, an opportunity to play after Christmas uh, and then once during your, your rivalry week. Well, then you're you know dealing with the Christmas break, and I think a lot of teams like to play at least one game. Um, you know, non-conference game after Christmas just to kind of get their feet wet again. And so it's it's just kind of tough, but uh, you know, you treat it like the NBA. You know, you, you you play and then you make an adjustment and play again. Are there pluses, minuses in in having a game, two games back to back with the OSU? Well, I think anytime you play any team back to back like this, I, I think it can be it, it can be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, let's just take uh, injuries for instance. You know, I, I my guess is Sydney Weiss will be back, but if she's not, then you know. She's missed two two games against her, her rival. Uh, you know, if you have a true double round robin where everybody's playing and it's spread out, then that that may not be the case. Let's say Jill has the flu or something and misses, you know, this weekend. Knock on wood, that was kind of dumb, but you know, I, I think it can impact it a lot more. Do you feel like your roster obviously is more equipped to handle Hamblin and and, and what they do? A little bit, yeah. We have a little bit more size this year and. Um, you know, and you know, quite frankly, last weekend was a bad matchup for us. I mean, we, we just haven't handled pressure that well. We don't have super great quickness on the perimeter and a lot of ball handlers. So Oregon State doesn't, you know, get in to you as much. They're more a, a traditional kind of approach to the game. And, and so, yeah, I think we match up better with, with Ruth. But she's such a talented player. You know, does, can anybody really stop her? You just hope to slow her down a little bit. How do you think Jacinta matches up with her, though? Yeah, uh, I think she does. I mean, size-wise, a little bit more on par. And then just her understanding of the game. I thought Jacinta this last weekend was terrific defensively. She had a great weekend of helping and um, and talking and, and doing the right things. And we just need more people like that. But, yeah, I think she's uh, going to be a good matchup for Ruth. Does that make it a different civil war for Jill than Jill's played in the last couple of years, too? I mean, does she not match up with Ruth as much? Uh, it depends. I, you know, I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna guard it. Um, yeah, we'll we'll wait and see. Coach, four recruits uh, named to yeah. the McDonald's All American Game. Does that kind of speak to the depth of this class coming in? Yeah, it was really neat to to see that. And yes, it it does. And uh, those are some decorated players. And I'd like to think a couple of them have a legitimate shot at making the team. So uh, they're all deserving. But uh, like I said, I you know this is a, a tremendous group. What would a, a win over Oregon State do for, for your program? Other than obviously you need a win, but considering their status right now. 
Yeah, well, I think it stops the bleeding a little bit. I think it's been a while since. I don't think we have anybody on our roster that's ever beaten them, so we need to, to change that. That's going to be a tall task, but uh, but we're certainly capable. Um, I think it just kind of gets us back uh, a little bit on track. I mean, you know, we took two road losses against teams that, you know, more that if, if there was a betting line in Vegas would have been considered favorites. Uh, we feel like one of them really got away. We had a good chance at it, but the reality is we – Probably haven't done anything that we shouldn't have done up, up to now. So, yeah, now we've got to find some way to, to get Oregon State and kind of get our, our, ourselves back on track. Did you kind of look at the schedule and realize these first six games would be pretty murderer's role? To yeah, to no, no question about it. You know, we're the underdogs, I, I believe, in all six games. And we've got to, you know, somehow, I, I always tell the team, a good team with nothing to lose is a dangerous team. And so I think we can be a dangerous team. And I feel, and I think our team feels, that we can beat anybody. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, you know, what a, what a test this week. You spoke to the results in the conference last week. Was that unexpected for you? Did any of, any, any of that surprise you? Or did you think this was going to be a, a year where some teams could knock each other off? Yeah, I really did think it was going to be one of those kind of crazy years where, you know, the, the winner of the conference might have four losses. I mean, it, it, it looks, it's kind of looking like it could be that kind of year. Uh, some of the results, not necessarily the wins and losses, but how teams played or how much they got beat by. I mean, look at Oregon State, as good as they are. I mean, they UCLA really took it to them, which shows you the strength of the Bruins. So I, I think it's going to be a really fun year. Do you like the Civil War being kind of this back-to-back, -back, or do you wish it was set up while you can get it? you got to get here on time. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, yeah, it, again, it, good and bad that we that we have to play back-to-back. -back. Uh, I, I don't like it. I don't think most coaches like it. But uh, there's not a whole lot we can do unless we want to schedule games before Christmas. So just one of those tough deals. It is what it is. Make the best of it. Is that the way they try and get it so the, the women's tournament comes before the men's? Is that the reason behind it? Well, that – I don't know if that's the reason behind it, but that's one of the, the you know, the that that that's why we have to do it. I, I don't know if they do it that way just so we can move up a week. We'll see. Do you see this as kind of? A, I know it's no different than the other Pac-12 game, but against Oregon State, is it kind of a benchmark for you guys to see where you stand and how you're stacking up against one of the best? Yeah, no question about it. Yeah, these guys have been the standard the last couple of years in the conference, so. Um, you know, aside from being the rivalry game, I mean, this is an important game because they're going to be one of the teams at the top. So great for RPI, great for the rivalry, and like I said before, just great for getting us back up on our, on our feet.